Eczema is a form of dermatitis. Itis just means inflammation. Derm, funnily enough, means skin. So it's very, very common, particularly in children. About one in five under fives has it, but it very often gets better later in life. There are several different types of eczema, but the most common is atopic eczema. Atopic means allergic or sensitive, and atopic means that you are more prone to having other allergic conditions such as asthma or hay fever. The symptoms tend to start pretty early in life. In babies, they're often on the face, whereas in slightly older children, and indeed in adults, they'll often be at the back of the knees, the fronts of the arms, or the fronts of the, uh, the, fronts of the wrists, or around the neck. Now, in terms of treatment, prevention is always better than cure, so it's really important to avoid things that make eczema worse. Some babies have a condition called cow's milk protein allergy, and that can make eczema much worse. So it is worth thinking about that if your child has severe eczema. If they do, then taking cow's milk out of the diet entirely, or out of your diet if you're breastfeeding, can significantly improve the symptoms. But in more general terms, avoiding anything that's scented or perfumed, bubble baths, soaps, that sort of thing, that can irritate or dry the skin out. Wearing cotton clothes, which allow the skin to breathe. And if possible, trying to avoid scratching. I know it can be difficult. In terms of washing clothes, detergent probably isn't a very common trigger, but it may be worth introducing an extra spin cycle just to get rid of any chemicals left on the clothes. In terms of adding treatment to your baby's skin, the rule of thumb is moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Any other treatment is added on top of regular moisturizers or emollients. They're unscented. You can include bath moisturizers and you can include soap substitutes, which can be added before your baby is put into the bath to avoid the water from drying the skin out. For flare-ups, steroids, usually in topical cream form, are used, and sometimes you can have a nasty flare, which is treated with antibiotics. The good news is that if there's a patch of skin which suddenly gets red, hot, angry, and really sore, antibiotics will often treat it completely and quickly.